there you are. I was beginning to get worried. I thought something terrible might happen to you at the furnace. Especially since your memory is gone. No, I don't remember much of anything. I wouldn't even know my own name if you hadn't told me. Every Cyclopean child knows the name of Grimwall. You're the great hero of the War of the One. War of the One? Can you tell me about it? Oh my. You are confused, aren't you? <clears throat> the War of the One was a pivotal point in the history of our people. For years, we had fought the Insectoids, neither side gaining ground as the planet was ravaged by countless battles. The Makers, creators of all and of nothing, watched silently for many years before taking action. They spoke to the leaders of both sides through grand visions, declaring that there was to be one final battle for supremacy. The victor would rule the planet, and the defeated race would be forced underground, never to return to the surface again. We won? Yes, thanks to you. You destroyed nearly a third of the troops, all by yourself. If we won, then why are these things back above ground? No one really knows. Actually, no one really believed the story of the War of the One, or thought that there were any insectoids. Until now. That evil machine will be silent for a while. Evil? It's just a furnace, isn't it? The thing was burning children, Graven. Cyclopean children! What? But how can this be? Gromna would never allow such a thing to happen. Gromna? That's the name the bugs were using at the furnace. They said he's giving the orders to burn the children's bodies. That's absurd. He's my mentor. A brilliant entomologist. He'd never... Ento... what? Entomologist. He's our foremost specialist on insects. That's why the Peace Council chose him for this mission. Mission? What mission? What the hell is going on here? We were sent here to examine this hive a few months ago. We were captured, but Gromna convinced the Queen to put aside her plans of conquest and negotiate a peace treaty. Since then, it's been peaceful for both sides. In fact, Tomorrow is the day that both leaders will meet to sign the treaty. I tell you it's true, Graven. Something is terribly wrong here, and I think that this Gromna person is somehow involved. You must help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Not unless you have some physical proof to back up these wild accusations. Very well. If proof is what you want, then that's what you'll get. Graven, Chick-Tock requires authorization to upgrade my ID harness. Who can do that? Normally, Gromna is the only one who can authorize such upgrades. But with the increased activity in the Queen's chambers, he remains there almost exclusively. I think we can fool Chick-Tock if I make my position sound important enough. What should I say? Tell him that your authorization comes from Graven, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. That should do it. Take my advice. That harness you're wearing won't get you past every security device. You might want to see the cyber technician for an upgrade. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose affirmation will I grant this procedure? Graven, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Graven, hold while I search my data banks for confirmation. My records indicate that 
that Gravan is the assistant to Grona. However, his authorization alone is not enough. I will need to verify that you are of sufficient age to be placed within the Royal Guard. Proceed to Lim Scanner for positive age identification. Looks like an operating table. A great machine of some sort. Some kind of scanning unit. An insectoid pit with furnace operators mechanic. Age requirements verified. Upgrade authorized. Step forward to have ID harness upgraded. Prepare for upgrade treatment. Treatment? What treatment? Treatment. They found a way to slow down the dis- It says here that a Dr. Morgan was ultimately responsible for developing the DNA V- Didn't you study with the Dr. Morgan back in med school? I was a sophomore when doctorate. Well, the treatment's called HOPE. It's supposed to decelerate the growth of the DNA V, almost in the life- Span of affected children. Hex found a way to survive the plague of Quetzal without conventional modern medicine. <sighs> oh, hey, if Morgan is close to a cure, a true, then maybe he can use another set of hands. Maybe it's time to appear and go home. Dizzy. Can't concentrate. <sighs> Royal Guard class confirmed. Enter. Good! Save game. Return to game. Cyclops babies! In no. bottles? <laughs> Dr. Morgan? What test is this? Ah, Max. You're just in time. This is a test of the subject's... threshold. The will travel directly to the neurotransmitters of the brain and without actually harming the monkey, cause it to feel excruciating pain all over its body. What? Well, that's not an experiment! It's torture! What possible purpose- When you outrank me in lab years, Max, each in the method. I see the potential of our research, and that justifies the mean. A vision in scientific research, Max. In layman's terms, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. Ah, there's a fire in my brain! I'll burn all of these grubs before I leave here. This Cyclops is half bug. Who are you? Grit Gritza. Gritza? Yes, that's my name. Game claim. Where are you from? From Dum. Where are you from? From Team Reem. Team? What team is that? Search 
research team sent to examine insectoids. Gramna, the leader, the betrayer. Gramna? He was your leader and betrayer? How did he betray you? Betrayer? He did this to me, 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 my body, me, me, not Cyclops anymore. Half the beast. His experiments left me a fr fr I am a freak now. What has he done to you? What experiments? His quest wants to live forever. The insects as the answer. What? I don't understand. What answer? That's uh, What are you doing here? My duty to the queen. What duty is that? To tend the young ones. They are fragile children. So young. Bottles of joy. These bottles have children in them? Clones, grumbles, pets. No, my strength will break the bottle. I need something to cut it free. Grab. An insectoid. Cyclops. I brought you the proof you asked for, Graven. Are you going to help me? By the Makers. Yes, of course. I suppose we should search Gromna's pod. Come on, I have his globe code. The path is blocked. No, perhaps... I've seen your fellow team members in the Queen's chambers. Gromna has interchanged their lower bodies with insectoid anatomy. What? I haven't seen them since. We must save them! I'm sorry, Graven, but their minds are gone. It's too late. May the Makers preserve their souls. What's the globe code, Graven? Immortal. That's the word to unlock the door. Password? Immortal. Enter. What are those? They appear to be schematics of some kind. Judging by the shape and general mass, I'd say they were diagrams of the Great Machine. Great Machine? What's that? It's the huge round piece of machinery that sits on the edge of the hive. Some say it was left there by the Makers themselves. Others think that it's a power source of some type. It used to emit a weird humming noise, but now it remains silent. Hmm... What? According to these notes, Two parts may have been removed to aid the insectoids. I need to visit the Great Machine and see for myself. Rumnus notes. They say that the sound generator will open the worm transport tube. Mutilated grubs? What is Gromna doing with them? A locked cabinet. I suspect that the traitor keeps something important with 
something. This pillow appears to be rather lumpy. Aha! A key! seems to be generating an odd sound. Bugs will kneel before immortal Gromna. These designs, I do not understand them. Have you figured out the purpose of the machine? Part of it. But I need time to properly study it. Gromna has removed two pieces from it. Generators of some kind. I need to attach the missing pieces to get the machine running again. Unfortunately, only Gromna knows where they are.